and we are going to practice the knit stitch. Okay, so we have cast on. See how nice that is? And if you didn't cast on too tight, it shouldn't be a problem. This is for children. So I'm doing this for my grandchildren. And so um, I read a little poem online. It's not my poem. I don't even know if I'll get it right, but it did help them remember. And they can't remember just the basic knit stitching when we're sitting here. So since they don't live very close, here we go. So we're gonna go um, in the front door okay and with your working yarn around the back peek through the window and off jumps jack now for most children they're going to have a hard time putting the yarn through their fingers to control the tension of a stitch they're going to want to hold on to this teach them to scoot their fingers up and put their finger on that stitch and just remind them your thumb holds this one down when you're stitching one your finger holds this one down and then they use their hands here to tighten up the stitches because that's just their skill level right now but about seven or eight it seems like you can teach them to wrap it around their finger and then your ring finger let me see I do this so fast sometimes I forget how I do it around the top of your ring finger under your middle finger and like this so it kind of just has a nice easy it will just pull right through and you can control the tension let's try this again so in the front door around the back peek through the window and off jumps Jack let's try it again in through the front door around the back peek through the window and off jumps Jack. It's pretty simple. In the front door, around the back, peek through the window, and off jumps Jack. In the front door, around the back, peek through the window, and off jumps Jack. See if you can do that. Around the back, peek through the window, and off jumps Jack. That's all you have to do. That's all you're gonna do is just practice your knit stitching. Just knit, knit, knit.